Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roman. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I will be making a delicious meatloaf. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, guys, so this is one of my old recipes. So I'm just bringing it back. I think I've been feeling for some of that meatloaf. But in the center, there is a cauliflower with a cheese sauce on top of it. I have my meat. I'm going to start right now and I'll show you how I get going with that. So first we want to season the meat. So here I have all my seasonings that I'm going to use. And I hope my bowl is big enough. Now I'm using about just a little over three pounds of ground beef. We're going to break it apart. And this, I'm not measuring, I'm just seasoning to taste. So I'm going to put some salt. And that's about, I would say, half a teaspoon because some of the seasoning has salt. Now I'm going to use this. This is a beef seasoning. It's from uh, Holland. I like the way it makes my meat taste, but you can use any beef um, seasoning. You don't have to use this one. Actually, a friend introduced me, one of my friends from Europe, she introduced me to this and I really like it. So that's it. We add some black pepper. So we want to season really well. So I'm just putting black pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, gonna put some barbrill beef so this is gonna be well seasoned okay so put that a little bit of that freshly cut shallots so that's going in there next step I'm gonna crack two eggs in there breadcrumbs and I'm using seasoned breadcrumbs I'll get all the flavor of the herbs in there so we're gonna put about a cup of breadcrumbs oh. Oh. about a cup then I'm gonna add some milk and I'm using 2% milk I'm gonna put a cup of that get mm -hmm. some gloves on because we're gonna just get all that mixed in really well and you can see it here I'm just going to mix it all in so you just want to make sure you get all those spices in there and your milk and your breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs is going to just give it a little more texture the eggs going to help it to stay in you know nice and solid so it doesn't crumble it just holds everything together okay guys so now that this is all nicely mixed in together you can see look at that oh, everything's well combined everything is nice here so what I'm gonna do is leave this to sit for a little bit and in the meantime I'm gonna make my cheese sauce Oh, and while I'm doing the cheese sauce, I'm just going to boil some water because I'm going to drop my cauliflower in there for just a couple of minutes just to kind of blanch them so they cook a little bit before I put them in the meat. And now we're going to do our cheese sauce. Have some butter. And as soon as it's hot enough, I'm going to put the butter in there. Put that in now. Okay. And we're gonna melt that butter. So what I did, I didn't put it in an extremely hot pan because you didn't want you don't want to burn the butter. So that's why you put it on a medium heat and you melt it slowly. Alright, now it's melted. I'm gonna put some flour. 
And what are you doing? It's just making a roux. So you just mix in the flour with the butter. Since I don't need a lot of the cheese sauce. Just about a cup. It's starting to thicken. And again, you want to keep it on a medium heat while you're doing this. Don't put it too high. Okay, so I'm mixing that. Now I'm going to just add a little bit of black pepper to it. I'm going to put a little bit of salt, not too much, just a bit. See, that much. Once it's thick enough, I'm just going to put the cheese in. Okay, now if you can see, that's nice and thick now. It's thickened up, like saucy, but a nice thick sauce. And I don't need a lot, so I'm just going to put my cheese in. And I have some cheddar. Grated cheddar. That's what I'm using. Melt it in there. And you could even just put this, use this on your vegetables just like that. You don't have to, you know, put it in the meat, but I'm doing it inside the meat. So that's going to be really good once it's done. So I'm just going to take it off and put it aside until I'm ready for it. See, and it's gonna thicken up even more. Water is boiling, so I'm just gonna drop these cauliflower, and you can see I slice them so they can lay flat. And I'm just dropping them in the boiling water. I'm just gonna put it all in, everything, because whatever I don't use in my meatloaf, I'm gonna eat it with a little bit of cheese sauce. So that's it, and we're just gonna let it cook for about a minute or so. And see, so just about a minute. So before I start putting everything together, I'm just gonna put the oven on. So oven, and I'm gonna bake it at 375. Oh, sorry. I need to put bake. <laughs> I'm losing my head, guys. Okay, 375. I'm going to put it and let it heat up. Okay, so now we're going to put it together. We're going to get it. I'm going to use half. So what I'm going to do, this is for the bottom part. I'm going to make a well all the way down the middle. Like that. Then I'm going to put it in the pan. Okay, and now I'm going to spread it. Now, I'm not greasing my pan, and the reason for that is that the meat is fat enough, so it's not going to stick. So we're just going to flatten it out and take these like that. And you're going to put them down like this. Okay, that looks good, and then I think I just need a little more up here. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna put our sauce. So we're gonna take the cheese sauce. I'm just gonna stir it up, and I'm just gonna spoon it over. See, like this. That's enough. I want to overdo it. And now I'm going to take the rest of my meat and I'm going to close it up. Like this. And then you put it over this one. And what you're going to do is just close it in on the sides. Gonna take a knife and I'm just gonna smooth it over. So we're just gonna I'll just move this so you can see what I'm doing. 
Okay, there's a piece of shallot. I'm gonna stick it right in. Go around the edges like that. And you just press to so make sure it seals really well. What do you guys think? Look at that. That's gonna be a really good solid meatloaf. Guys, if you've ever tried this recipe, leave a comment, let me know. You know, I used to make it with hard boiled eggs in the middle too, and that's really nice. And if you want with this one, I could make a nice mushroom gravy or just a plain brown gravy and have it with it. But I'm not gonna do that because this is gonna be enough. Take another last look. Okay, now we go in. And we're gonna leave it there at least, I'll say an hour, and then I'll check it after one hour. Okay, okay. let's see, I, our meatloaf is done. It's been a couple hours and halfway through the cooking time, I did cover it with foil. You can see it's nice and brown on top. Look at that. Nice and brown and then the foil helps to keep the moisture in. So it's nice and you can see all the oil is cooked out. So we can't get rid of that. We're just going to take it out and put it on a platter. And You'll see it after it's all set up. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's it. And there you have it, guys. Our cheesy cauliflower beet loaf. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, have a great day and God bless.